Hey guys, Squirrely Gamer coming at you from the Hunter playing the 300 Nozar Pellet. And uh, I didn't get the first half of this hunt because my video recorder kind of canceled out the video kind of halfway through, so we missed the first half of the hunt. But basically, I shot a moose in the back of the head. I shot a, a buffalo, or I mean a bison, anyways. And I've been trying to track him down. But now I just heard another call from uh, another bison, and I'm trying to track him down now, too. Because, I mean, I can't, come on, let's be honest, you come to this reserve, man, you come for the bison, right? You want the big fat furry bastards. Ooh, blood! What is that? Oh, that's the bison I shot earlier! Yes! And I think that is his body right there. If it is, I'm gonna be amazed. I think it is. I think that's actually the moose, but I'm not sure. It's something I shot. Obviously, I killed it. It's dead. I just kind of came out here in this hunt, and uh, earlier, I shot a sick of deer, a moose, you know what I mean? Like, all that freaking crap. I shot a whole bunch of stuff. So, yeah. I mean, uh, well, I harvested those two, though. I did get those. These, you know, I shot a bison and a moose, and then they just kind of scattered all over the place. So, I don't see the bison that they just heard on uh, yeah, this thing. I hate it when they grunt like that, too. Their call is creepy. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like Polly Shore and Encino Man. It's kind of creepy. Kind of creeps you out just a little bit. This 300 is pretty badass, though. If you guys ever play this game, get that 300 Nozer pellet. And uh, that thing is, or no Nozer Partition or whatever they call it. I'm not a, you know, fantastical genius at hunting weapons, but, I mean, I was in the army. I know different weapons. I don't, I'm not a gun genius. I know a little bit about a little bit, but, you know, yeah. Okay, what's, what do we got? Dude, look at all these animals that we got up here. Like, seriously, it's like a fucking shooting range. Look at this. Ding, ding, ding. It's like a turkey shoot. I don't even know where to begin, man. I mean, at least you know that you can survive in the wilderness in a place like this simply off of, you know, just killing shit. Killing shit and getting meat. Right? What is this? That's the moose. Okay, so that moose is fleeing out this direction. What the fuck? I hate that sound. That is the creepiest fucking shit. There he is, little shit. Let me get you, bitch. Yeah! Shot you in the freaking pancreas! That's what I'm talking about. So he'll probably run for a little bit. That 300 is pretty powerful, so I don't think he's gonna run for that long. I mean, I would hope not anyways, right? If we can harvest at least some of the, uh, some of the creatures that I shoot in this roof here, <laughs> even if I don't get all of them, you know, then I'll feel successful. So, let's see, when we get up here, where the fuck I shot him at. Okay, this guy did some kind of zigzag pattern over here. I don't even know what that track is. That's from the same animal, though. Strangely enough, that's kind of strange. You know, he, like, went over here, and then he went over there, and then... He's trying to dodge me. I think he just died. Okay, I think that's him over there, so let's, uh... Yeah, let's go over there. I don't want to run because there's so many other animals on this hill, too. So after, yeah, like there's another one right there. So I don't want to scare them all away. And, I, which is kind of amazing. That's poo! That's a steaming pile of poo! <laughs> nice. Alrighty. That's pretty awesome when you find guys that are interested and fascinated by poo. It's bison poo. <laughs> yeah. But I have been shooting this gun all over this reserve this entire time, and these animals haven't been running. I think they're all deaf. I think it's a very, very quaint possibility that they're all fucking deaf and they can't hear. Because that 300 is loud. I mean, you guys just heard it in this video. It was loud. That was a loud freaking video. Or a loud uh, weapon, I mean. 
There is a shitload of blood. Yeah, lungs hard, dude. That was a perfect kill shot. Yeah, I nailed him. He's done. You're done. Done like dinner, quite literally. Because I want to take your freaking two-ton ass home and eat you. All right. I mean, seriously, you kill a bison, what is that? Like, that's meat for like a month or more for like a family of four. It's like a birthday party at Toys R Us, man. Trophy shot! Yeah! I want a trophy shot with this beautiful, sexy, majestic creature. Yeah! Alright. Let's pull out the weapon. Looking like some kind of freaking KGB hunter from hell. This is bison! This bison they killed in Russian Siberia! We freeze the rest off. Look it! My gun's still in its spine! We are hardcore! Kill bison! No, 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 no! Wrong button. Yeah. Okay, so, let's walk up the mountain here because we got some more shit to kill. It's amazing. Whenever I feel like I have to kill something, I just come on the hunter, I get to kill everything. Okay, this one I'm gonna have to go into. Let's see if we can go into prone for this one. Yeah, have that steady shot. I'm gonna be a sniper. <laughs> Holy shit, look at that. I hit him and he dropped. Look at that, he dropped just like a sack of potatoes right there. That was awesome. That's a pretty far shot, man. That 300, I told you, that 300 is like a, it's like a power ram. Just, <laughs> and it's amazing. It's like throwing action figures around your room when your best friend's sleeping over. Here, clang off for a whole bunch of other things. Ding, twing, turn. Oh, shit. Yeah, you guys ever do that? Yeah, if you, you guys ever do that when you were sleeping over with your friends when you were kids? I mean, I'm talking like, you know, when you were like seven, eight years old or something like that. Yeah, my friend, all you, he, he always used to come over. And uh, we've been friends, you know what I mean, ever since we were little kids. You know, he was like three years old when I met him. And he'd always come and sleep over. That's all we would do is spend all night just whipping freaking action figures around the room and hitting each other in the head with it and everything. It was hilarious. My dad would just look at us and be like, you guys are morons. <laughs> Oh my god. First time ever riding a dirt bike, man. I ran into a tree, he ran into the house. Yeah, no, that really happened. That was cool. Funny. And if he's watching this video, I know that he'll remember that. Okay, anyways. So, let's trek up here to the mountain and get this big fat ass moose. I mean, seriously, this guy harvesting all these animals, I mean, like, you know, he has food for a year. Yes, food for a year. I like it that you can sell your kills in this game now, though, for the uh, for the GMs, because, you know, EMs are too expensive. I don't want to spend that kind of money. I don't want to spend my hard, my, my not hard-earned money. <laughs> Alright, let's find a track from this thing, man. He's got to be up here somewhere. I hate it when you get close. Like, you can see him better from further away. And then when you get up here, there's all these weeds and shit covering everything up. Come on. Where's the track? Give me a track. I'm looking for the little red thingy. Give me the red ribbon. I think there's one right here. Uh, that's... Oh, there he is. Now I see his fat ass. See his big freaking antlers hanging out over there. <clears throat> Look at that. Yeah. That's one sexy creature. Sexy bloody creature. Holy shit. Look at that ass. That's like moose model ass right there. That could be in the newly developed hunting magazine. Moose. Apple bottoms on animals. That'd be funny. Alrighty then. Look at those big friggin' antlers. Yeah. Yeah. You were alpha male, weren't you? You were the alpha moose. The alpha omega moose. And I just blasted you. You ain't alpha shit now. Ha <laughs> ha! Bitch! Alright. <laughs> Kneel down and let's take this sexy freaking trophy shot. Look at that moose. Yeah! 
I killed it. In real life, I would have no idea how I'm going to get it out of this winter wilderness because I tell you that is one heavy animal. That is not something I want to drag through the snow by hand. I don't even think I could do that. I've never hunted moose. But I'm just, you know, I mean, I'm assuming. If you guys, if anybody watching this video has ever actually hunted moose and knows how brutal that must be to drag that thing through the forest, leave it in the comments because definitely we'd be interested to hear that. Okay, there's there's two bison here. <laughs> I don't know what to choose. <laughs> oh yeah, he ain't going nowhere. Yeah, that's right. You're going nowhere. I'm gonna blast him again just for the fun of it. Just go total full ape shit on this thing, and he's done. Oh, look at this! Look at this! What is that up there? Oh, it's a freaking moose! Oh, I got you too! No, I didn't. No, I, I totally freaking missed. He's still running, that's how I know. Damn it! I gotta reload, don't I? Ah! Oh, I got no more <laughs> out of ammo! I brought extra. Always bring extra ammo when you're in the hunter because you will run out if you hunt like me. Yes, you will. Because you shoot every friggin' thing in the forest. Everything dies. Oh shit, this guy's here. Everybody's dead. i to be like, that's right. I'm gonna kill you all. Isn't that the fun of the hunter, though? That's seriously, you know, that's the fun of the hunter. That's awesome. It's great. Let's just go in the forest and kill everything that moves. See a seagull. It moves a quarter of an inch by the water. Ah! <laughs> Seagulls are annoying, though. I hated being down by the beach and having them always steal my fries and shit. I just wanted to just punch every seagull in the fucking face. Seriously. <laughs> You're stealing my fries, you little shits! Ugh! Turn, you know, instant viking just for, you know, split second. Just, you know, a couple of minutes until your girlfriend runs away screaming. Oh my god, this man is scary! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Look at this big, heavy-ass animal. Oh, there's another steaming pile of poo! That That's great. It looks like a fossilized stone from the Middle, from the middle Ages. It looks like it's been there a thousand years. Look at that blood right there. I freaking blasted your ass. I blasted your ass into the past. Right through the grass. Shot in the ass. Okay, maybe not the ass. Shot you somewhere. Jesus Christ, look at your face, man. Holy shit, it's like the size of a Volkswagen. Has anybody in the watching this video actually ever in like in real life hunted bison? Because this thing right here, how would you get this out of the forest? I mean, I'm sure that this thing probably weighs more than a Volkswagen, right? I mean, look at this huge animal, man. It's like six camels in one package. I just walked on his face. I just walked on your face. I'm sorry. I mean, look at that shit. Man, oh man, the Buffalo Bills would be very proud. <laughs> this is a lovely uh, game of death. Alrighty then. Sorry, I watched a lot of Ace Ventura as a kid. I love that movie. It was just funny. You know what I mean? Back when Jim Carrey was funny. So I hit him in the shoulder blade, left lung, hip, bone, intestine. Yeah. I freaking annihilated him. I annihilated him. Let me get my dude over here, take some sexy pictures behind this big hairy bitch. Alright. What the hell? Hey, hey, hey! Don't don't mess with the camera. Come on, stop messing with the camera. There we go. Look at that. Yeah! That's a nice picture right there. Got the horn sticking out right there. Oh yeah. Man, oh man, they made the track disappear, but there was a shitload of blood right here, man. Looked like Texas Chainsaw Massacre for a minute. And that moose, I don't know if I actually shot him. Let's see if I can go, oh crap, holy shit, he's right there! Oh! Right in your fucking face! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that was a surprise, he keep walking up on me, and it was just like, 
I think he saw me and it was like a moose in the headlights. He's like, oh shit, a hunter, what do I do? Or maybe he didn't see me. I am wearing, uh, I am wearing this, you know, snowy camouflage. Maybe he couldn't see me. Maybe I was invisible. Maybe I was the hollow man. Just for a split second. Let's see, where did I shoot him? I shot him in the top of the nose. Look at that. You can see, you can see the wound a little bit there. Hang on. Yeah, you could definitely see the wound there. I'm going to magnify it a little bit. Oh, look at that. Right in the top of the nose right there. How did he die from that? I wonder. I mean, it just like went through his nose and his... Maybe it went through his jawbone into his chest and just murdered his heart. There's the moose ass again. Look at how perfectly round that ass is. Those are some sweet cheeks, man. Ha <laughs> ha. I hit him in the intestine, the stomach, the first time. So this is the one that I shot on the side of the mountain that was running away when I shot the bison as well. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic that I have to refine the animals that I shoot because I shoot so much shit. <laughs> Left lung, liver, stomach. My second shot. So yeah, it went through his nose into his body and annihilated his left lung, his liver, and his stomach. So I was basically, I was pretty much shooting him straight from the front of his body and pretty much it was going to exit out his ass. So that was awesome. That 300 is definitely my new toy. I like it. I like it. Okay, let me pull your head out a little bit. Let's pull your butt up. Yeah, let's take a picture like that. Ass in the air. Hey, get over here. You, not you, you. Get over here. Yes, yes. Okay, let's pull the ass in the air and put it right on top of my head right there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, <laughs> let's take a picture just like that. Like, that is the most awkward, uncomfortable looking picture ever. It's like, what was he thinking here? Like, seriously. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me pull the weapon out and then do it again. No, 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 no. You stay there. You stay there. Let's pull the ass up right to the face. Oh, shit. Hang on, hang on. Oh, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. I'm going to pull it right there. And then uh, I'm probably going to have to do it again. Yeah, because I want to pull him out. I want that ass right in his face right there. Oh, yeah. Right there, buddy. Look at that. Moose ass face. Whee! That's hilarious. <laughs> and I took the picture. People are going to be looking at my gallery and be like, what the fuck was he thinking? Okay. Anyways. This snow is really bright. That's amazing. That's so amazing. Let's see if we can go... I'm going to stay up on top of this mountain because it seems like I can see freaking everything from up here. <coughs> I definitely want to see if I can blast something else. Because I just like blasting things. It's fun! Which is kind of funny because I'm a... You know, my name is Squirrely Gamer. I'm not a very big guy. So it's almost like a squirrel is running around with a... 300 nose air partition rifle and shooting everything. That would be funny. I would love to see that. I would pay to see that. Just... <laughs> oh, shit! Just running around, shooting everything. Okay, so that time that I started blasting uncontrollably like Rambo in the middle of that area right there, I think all the animals uh, finally decided to run away. Definitely. water. Very nice. Throat was getting a little dry, you know what I mean? These uh, fall times and the weather is getting a little drier and I live in Georgia so we don't have winters like this or like you guys in the north, you know what I mean? We have very mild winters but it does dry out pretty significantly. I couldn't imagine uh, the dryness that you guys go through in the winter time when it's freezing cold like that when you get really bad snows. You know, especially up in uh, the north parts of the U.S., like New York, and I'm slipping down the mountain. Yeah, by the way, you can um, get killed in these reserves on mountains and stuff like this if you fall too far. 
off these mountains, like from up there, yes, you will die. I'm sure that everybody who plays this game already knows that, but I just wanted to point that out for anybody that's new thinking about playing The Hunter. It is a really fun game. Oh, oh man, next video. Next video, gotta go to the jungle and I gotta hunt the water buffaloes. I gotta, I gotta show you guys that. Yeah, definitely. That's a lot of fun because it's scary as shit. Because the water buffaloes will attempt to run after you and kill you. Yeah, like I said before, if anybody who regularly plays this game, they would know that. But anybody who's newer at this game and playing the classic versions, uh, you'll find out very quickly that the water buffaloes will try to kill you. It makes it very, very exciting. And I have been killed by them before. Getting one of their horns up my asshole. Alright. Let's see if I can go down into uh, prone here. I had to put my sunglasses on so I could see. <laughs> Boom! Yeah! Shot another one right there! Oh! Where are you going? Yeah, you're done! You're done! Shot him twice. He felt like a sack of shit. You ain't going nowhere. Hey, get up. Get up, you bastard. Alright. Actually, I'm gonna leave those sunglasses on, man. It's kinda bright out here, so yeah. I'm gonna leave the sunglasses on. Press Z for your sunglasses if you have them. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, because it is pretty bright, you know what I mean? Without, uh, of course, I think that, I don't know if my brightness is up yet or, or not. I mean, like, I used to turn it up because sometimes, like, early, if you go hunting at night or if you go, um, you know what I mean, in the morning or something, like, it gets really, really freaking dark and you can't see nothing. So I used to turn my brightness up, but I think I just have it on desktop brightness right now. But the sunglasses definitely help. And it kind of accentuates the world. It looks a little bit more beautiful, you know what I mean, with it not so bright, you know what I mean? Like, you got that kind of, that gamma, you know what I mean, that kind of shines through there. It's annoying, you know? So, yeah, these are his tracks. I went, he went running down this way, and I blasted him again right about here or something. No, up there, actually. Because, yeah, he just dropped. Okay, that bison is fleeing about 10 feet to this position where he died. Yes! Well, I successfully acquired about 2,300 pounds of meat today by pretty much killing everything in this reserve. Hey, just to let you guys know, you're gonna have to import some new, uh, some more animals. Everything's dead. <laughs> okay. Oh, I only hit him once, so one time I missed him. Shoulder blade, left lung, liver. So it must have been the second shot. I probably shot over him a little bit. I thought I hit him, but... I guess that I did not. Alright, let's move this son of a bitch over here. Grab your weapon out. Yeah, let's take that sexy freaking picture. Oh, look at that. Look at that majestic freaking bison. That's so nice. So nice. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, so this was a fun time. Definitely. I, lo I have a lot of fun playing this game because I just, I, I thoroughly enjoy uh, hunting, but um, I've had this 300, you know what I mean, for a long time, and I just never really used it, you know, as, uh, as much. I think I used it, um, no, I didn't use it on kangaroos because I don't think you can. I can't remember the last time I used it. It's been a long time. So, I never really knew exactly how much brutal freaking damage it does. But definitely, the next video, I'll have to show you guys can get in the jungle and hunt some of the animals out there. Definitely see... <laughs> <laughs> definitely show you guys the water buffaloes chasing my ass through the jungle and me running like George. Seriously. You know, just straight up... <laughs> running the hell away and they it's like they stop chasing you for a little bit and it's almost like they're getting a breather and then they'll start chasing you again and you're just like holy shit you know and i would bring like uh the big handguns like i can't remember which handgun it is that you can shoot them with 
because I think there's two that you can shoot them with and one that you can't. And I can't remember if it's the 454, the 44, or the 357. I don't remember exactly which one it is. But you can use one of them, and I, I, that's what I was doing. I think it's a 454 actually, and um, and I was shooting them. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, you gotta shoot these things like eight times to kill them. It's like, man, it's like trying to kill a Triceratops in the middle of the freaking Cretaceous period. It's nuts. It is really, really crazy. So I'll definitely have to save that for the next video. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this video on this hunt of killing moose and uh, looking at their fine curvature butts and uh, killing some bison, tracking them through the, you know, it's been a lot of fun. Check me out in the next video. We're definitely going to have to join the jungle and get some water buffalo up here. Thanks for joining me. Come play the hunter and uh, I would love to play a multiplayer with, you know, with any of you guys watching the videos, man. Get out here. We'll shoot some shit. It'll be fun. Thank you for joining me. Subscribe and like and uh, comment on anything that you guys would like to see or any requests that you got. I appreciate it. See you in the next video.